Oh, no. I'm not Walter, at least I don't think. So I don't have to say, oh, the pain. Oh, it hurts so good. Hello, everybody. My name is Edward Harley, and welcome to Let's Play Masochisia. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, this is the point-and-click indie game that I found on Game Jolt recently. It actually came out in May of last year, but I wanted to give it a go because I had a lot of fun with point-and-click games in the Bad Dream series, and the reviews of this game were good, so I wanted to give it a try. This game includes mature content and language, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yes, I'm definitely doing that. Now, the story centers around a young man who finds out that apparently he's going to turn into a sociopath, psychopath, whatever. You know, he's basically a murderous serial killer uh, when he gets older, and he wants to try to change fate. I don't, I don't really know how he's going to do that, but we're going to discover that together. Hello, Hamilton. Did you run away again? Oh, cool. Who's there? Do you not know? I don't need you. I don't need you. Oh, Hamilton. Without me, you're nothing. We are nothing. That doesn't sound good. Age key. Flex of rust and earth stained his bow and blade. Okay, so I open his inventory. Oh, it's way over on the keyboard. Oh, no. Oh, cool. Oh, my mouse can go outside the, outside the screen. That's great. My mouse can go outside the screen. I didn't think I could do it. Move, let's move to the cellar. Is there anything scary down here? Anything waiting for me? Am I already, you know, in the future? Or am I just finding out if I'm just kind of experimenting and doing some things that I apparently shouldn't be doing? So I must need my key for that. Let's open the inventory. Key! Flex of Rustin. Oh, there we go. Oh, you have to drag it. That's cool. Oh, hey, hey, uh. Hey, Granddad. Are you okay! Act one. The family. Okay. Welcome back. Yeah, well. Uh, yeah, well, what was that? Him? They call him the Gray Man. What is. What, who, what is it? I don't like that. I don't like him. Yeah, here. Yeah. Should I act tough or kind of be a little. Uh, let's be a coward. I don't like him. I don't think he cares if you like him or not. Either way, I'm sure that he that you, uh, we will see him again soon. You should head back home, Hamilton. Your poor mother, she must be worried sick about you. Okay, let's go out here again. That's good. Let's see, I can enter the shed. Is that where I was? So apparently I was in the shed, so it opens to a what seemingly a completely random door. But that's where I was, I was in this dilapidated shed. And I can go deeper into the valley. Is that my only other option? Can I go to the can I go to the windmill? Windmill, please? So I think this this looks like it's gonna be kind of a a slow paced game. Which I don't have a problem with. I have zero problem with that. Cause I'd be I'd be totally fine with that as long as the story is compelling. And I'm very interested now, because I wonder if that's I mean you're hearing voices, and that's that's usually not a good thing. Do not enter yet. Why not? I want to go that way. I, I want to go that way because that's where stuff happens. <laughs> that's where things happen. So this must be like a voice in my head that, I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe it probably, exactly probably what its purpose is. And I wonder if it means that he's going to like try to talk, talk to me and make me do things to some people. Hello? Well, where am I supposed to go then? Where am I supposed to go then? Oh, there was! Oh, there was! Head towards home. Alright, that's back to the shed. I don't want to go to the shed. That's where I was. That's where whoever it was locked me up. Let's go check on mommy, dearest. Ma- Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't like this one bit. I I don't like this even a tiny bit. Go deeper into the house. Is that what it was? Go deeper into the home. Uh, sure. Oh, that was loud. That kind of freaked me out. I, I gotta say, that kind of freaked me out. Okay. There's a fire going, and there's all kinds of horror pictures. Yeah, I like how they're like crosses and stuff with on the glass. And yet it's like, uh, 
There's all kinds of horror pictures and statues and and god damn it. Uh, it's bullshit. Ah, dear sweet mother. She loves you. She loves you not. Well then don't tell me she loves me if she loves me not. I don't, I don't like the sound of that. If she if she had the Hey mom. How you doing? How you doing, mommy? You got you got something for me? Hamilton, my dear child, how I've missed you. Where have you been? How dare you frighten me like this? Uh, hmm. I've been here in the house. Just lie to her. Let's, let's, uh, let's just outside not far from here. You know what? Let's, let's lie. We're gonna lie to her. Oh, have you? Well, that makes, it's like, <clears throat> oh, have you? Well, that makes me feel better. I called for hours and hours. I, I called till my throat bled. Well, that's not good. Don't be doing that, you and your black eyes. Why didn't you come when I called for you? Why is there dirt on your clothes? Are you lying to me? Uh, mother, I would never lie to you. Oh, would you not? Do you know who lies? Worthless men lie. Are you a worthless man? You spineless little shit lying to your own mother. And when your father is done beating you, I won't come to help you this time. You can cry all you want. Your father will... Wait, your father. Ah, Hamilton, I am reminded. My dear child, I have a task for you. This is getting weird. What task is this? My sweet child, you are a good boy. I like how she switched like that. That's like bipolar right there. How you've grown. Or just this just horror story. I don't know. I love you, Hamilton. You do know that I, you do know that I love you, don't you? I need you to bring your father his medication. But father hates me. Yeah, he hates me. Your father lo your father loves you, Hamilton. Almost as much as I do. He is upstairs in his room. Be a good lad now. Take him his medication. You will do that, won't you? Uh, fine. I'll be, I'll, I'll be less of a coward now. Dear sweet Hamilton. Medication. I like your old medicine. It's bourbon. It's whiskey. Something. The scent surges through your nose. Your eyes water. Okay. Okay, okay. I don't want to do this, mama. But you know what? I'll do it for you. I'll, I'll do it for you. Even though I really don't want to. Because my father is gonna, father's gonna have a cow when he finds out what I owe. Oh, that's a noose. Okay, I totally missed that the last time. This guy, this, these pictures. Well, who in the world, who in their right mind, would put stuff in their house? Well, obviously these people aren't really in their right mind. But who would do this? Talk to door. I don't want to talk to the door. I don't, don't want to talk to a door. I guess I have to. Who disturbs me? It is I. No. <laughs> Spit it out, boy! Do you have my medicine? Y yes. Bring it in to me. Okay. You wish me luck, buddy. Wish me luck. Uh, okay, we got a secret door to the attic. It's always a good place to be. Oh, that's father? Am I a young boy or am I old? Oh, wait, no. Inventory. There you go, old man. What is it, boy? Well, I... Spit it out! Why must you stammer and stutter like a frightened girl? Well, I don't know. You Maybe your eyes are black and you're yelling at me. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why are you always sorry? Do you know who's really sorry? It is I that is sorry. Uh, yeah, let's actually be hopeful. Yes, boy. I am sorry that I ever let let that bitch of a mother birth you into existence. Oh, that's horrible! Oh, that's horrible! Do you know she's only a, she only gave birth to one truly good child? Then God looked down from heaven and he determined that I deserved less, and he took my own son away from me. And then and then he cursed your mother's mind, turned her heart against itself, and then I beat her. You see, I tried to fix what he did to me, but it was futile. I told her I needed more. We must replenish what God stole from me. And she gave me Walter. The masochistic filth. Oh, I'm Walter, apparently, and I, uh, like pain. Or oh, is that me? I don't- I'm confused. I'm very confused. Uh, I'll, I'll try to defend him a little bit. Son, he's no more of my seed than you are. He is a curse from God, like you. At first I tried to beat the evil out of him, but then... I found he just thrived on the pain I inflicted. But then, the cruelest of jokes, God gave me you. You're the worst, the combination of all their evils. Hmm. 
I, I am who I am. That's that's true. I should have never let her birth you. I stood there with the hanger and I st oh, and then oh god, oh god, you six, you six son of a bitch. I was ready to carve you from her womb, but your mother screamed. She promised me that you'd be different, but you tricked her. You lied to her. Do you know why God gave you to me? Yep, yeah, please, Father, no. Of course you don't know. God gave God gave me you so that I could beat the evil from you. And with his help, I will surely be victorious. Oh, God, don't beat me. Don't! Oh, God! No! Oh, no! Oh, no! I'm not Walter, at least I don't think. So I don't have to say, oh, the pain. Oh, it hurts so good. Mercy. No! Mercy! Please! Please, don't beat me anymore, Daddy! Don't beat me, Daddy! Are you alright? I gotta remember the word. Are you alright? Kinda, kinda, right. yeah, anyway. What have I done to deserve this? We scare him. He fears us, Hamilton. Because he does not understand us. Or what we will become. And what we will become is what truly frightens him. How your heart races. Can you feel it in your chest? You must calm yourself. There are some pills in your pocket. Take the pills. Why do I need pills? You're a special boy, Hamilton. So special, in fact, there are those out there who will seek to take you and make you their own. Do you remember, outside the shed in the woods, that gray man? There are others far worse than he. Now take your pills. Oh, I'm older? I'm older now? Was that... Okay. Walter's room. Let's check, Let's check on Walter. Is he fun? Is he moving all the way? So, oh, no, apparently Walter's not fun. He, he, he can't hang. Uh, that's like the only non-scary picture there is. All the other ones are, you know, kind of freaky looking. That's that's like the only one right there that doesn't have, you know, like horror show going on. So let's go downstairs. Let's talk to mom. See if she has anything nice to say. That boy in the backyard. Can you hear him? He is calling your name. How do I get out there? Well, I guess let's go outside. I'm obviously not going to go see mama. All right. Head back to the valet. Or can I go into the backyard? I imagine I must be able to go back there. There we go. It's a swing. I want to go for a swing. I don't like the look of you. I don't like. I don't trust you. Oh hey. Oh, now your eyes are white. Does that make? Does that mean something? Are you Hamilton? I gotta. I gotta try to get voices for all of them. Yes. How do you know my name? Hmm. It's like. My friends told me that I will find you, yeah. Uh, should, I, should I do that? Should I do Cockney a little bit? They told me that I will find a boy, yeah, with dirt and blood on his face. I'm not, I don't do a very good Cockney. I do a little bit, but not, uh, not all that well. So I'm going to just kind of do any, do whatever I feel like. You do seem to meet that description. I suppose I should introduce myself. My name is Albert. What friends are you talking about? The angel, Michael, that's his name. He knows everything. This sounds crazy, but he can even see into the future. Uh, yeah, my accent. My accent for some reason is really bad right now. Uh, the future, that sounds amazing. I promise you, he really is wonderful. The messenger, that's what his name means. It's a beautiful name, isn't it? Uh, I like my name better. Hamilton? Hmm, I don't like that name at all. It sounds sort of like ham and eggs, don't you think? Maybe you should change it. I don't know. I kind of like it. And it's not just Michael. There was a girl with him. Her name her name is Grace. She is... Well, it's hard to describe. She is perfect. Hmm. No one can be perfect. Oh, but she is. She is the sweetest thing I've ever known. Can she see in the future too? No, she is far more powerful than that. She is the end of our story. Oh. The end of our story. I don't. I don't really understand this. I don't see how you could understand. You've never met them. And how do I meet them? You'll find them at the shrine, deep in the woods. There will be a guardian outside the gate. You will meet... You will need to tell him magic words, then he will let you in. But if you get them wrong, he will kill you. So be sure to get them right. Okay. But how will I know them? How will I know... Like, I promise you, you will know them. Hmm. 
That does sound kind of risky. I'm your only friend, Hamilton. You must trust me. But how do I find this shrine? Go deep into the woods. When you find the guardian, he will he will take you into the shrine. My friends will be waiting for you. Okay, so four 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 five four one four four. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that code is for. But, yep. I still don't trust you. I still don't trust you, mate. Not even a little bit. Uh, okay, we'll go back to the front. Maskism.com, follow me. Oh, that was it! Oh! That was it, really? Oh, I was really hoping for more. But that, w that was definitely an interesting premise. I would... Uh, I don't. I, like I said, it's been out for a while, so I'm not sure if it's being updated, if it's still being worked on, or anything like that. Maybe it is, and it's just this is just meant to be like a teaser, and you can actually find the game somewhere else. But I liked it. I thought that was good. It was kind of slow, but because you had to like drag it over. But so I kind of wish it would be just a little faster, because it kind of takes you out of it a little bit, just just a little bit to have it be so slow. I know I know that's kind of supposed to add to like the mystique and. At least I think this is obviously just kind of my musings on it, but it's just kind of supposed to add a little bit to it. I would imagine that's why they did it that, did it that way. But having it go a little faster, I think, would allow you to get to that next bit a bit faster so you're not, you know, bringing yourself out of it by just having to go, okay, God, we got to go over here. So if it goes a little faster, I think that you would be able to keep the, keep the pace up, keep the story going. So that's really my only gripe about the game. I I, I like the art. I like the art style of it. Uh, I liked how the people looked kind of very, I don't know, kind of deformed and kind of dark and just just generally weird looking. Uh, like I said, the story sounded interesting because you, at this point you don't really know what's going on. You have this voice in your head. You have a whole bunch of people. They have this weird guy named Albert. I don't know where he, I don't know what his story is except he knows Michael the angel and a girl named Grace. Then you have your abusive father and mother and well, I guess abusive father and just neglectful mother and then you have a brother named Walter who I think is if I remember right is Walter who likes to be beaten he likes the beatings so he's pretty much left in his room to bleed to death I guess I don't I don't even know and then the gray man I don't really know much about the gray man but but yeah so th this was this was definitely a good game I I kind of wish that they would come out with a full one so I could get the whole story because I want to know I really do. So I'll post a link down in the description for anyone who wants to try. And they can go check for themselves to see what's going on. I'm going to do that. So tell me what you thought of my accent in this one. Because I, I I, didn't... Eh, it was kind of meh. Like, but I'm, I really want to try to work on that. So thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. I'll just go this way. Oh, no, 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 no. Hmm. Nope. Nope, 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 mm -mm, mm -mm, nope, not happening. Going this way. Hello? Anyone home? I got a teddy bear. Bird, tell him I'm home. Tell, tell him, tell him that I'm here to drop off a teddy bear. Oh! God damn it.